everyone and welcome to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to run Minecraft 1.11 fast with absolutely no lag. Now this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft host. You can go to the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24 hour server for just $2 a month. It's freaking insane. Go check it out. First link down below. Now, how do you run 1.11 with no lag? Well, first off, we need to start off in the Minecraft launcher. And from here, we need to hit edit profile. And then we have all of this information at the very, very bottom next to Java arguments. So what does all of this mean? Well, this first little bitty part is what we're going to be focusing on. This is how much RAM Minecraft uses. Truthfully, Minecraft needs at least one, truthfully two gigabytes of RAM to run smoothly. But the more you can give it, the better. 4 gigabytes is plenty of RAM to run vanilla. If you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can hit that up to 4 gigabytes. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, maybe you can put that up to 4 gigabytes. But I wouldn't really do that. I would stick it at like 2 to 3. But if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or more, put it at 4 gigabytes and you're good to go. Now, what if you have like 2 gigabytes of RAM? Well, put it at 1 gigabyte of RAM. If you have 4 gigabytes of RAM, put it at 2, for example. Right? Don't use more than half of the RAM your computer has for Minecraft. If you do, you're going to be lagging like crazy. But for us, we'll keep it at 4 because I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Plenty of RAM to dedicate some to Minecraft. Specifically, 4 gigabytes to Minecraft. Let's go ahead and save. And uh, now we can go ahead and actually launch into uh, to Minecraft. Now, this does use Optifine. So, there's a video on your screen right now to see how to install Optifine. We've helped millions and millions of people install Optifine, so I'm sure that video will work for you. Go check it out. It's really, really simple, really, really easy. It'll teach you how to install it in 1.11. And boom, we're zoomed into Minecraft. And the reason for that is because the rest of this tutorial, minus a few little tricks, is done in Optifine. And the reason for that is because Optifine is built to run Minecraft with no lag. Literally, I will probably get over 1,500 FPS once we're said and done with this tutorial. We've seen people go from, like... 15 FPS to over a hundred from tutorials like this one. So let's go ahead and set up Optifine. So options and then you want to make sure that there's no resource packs installed. By that I mean selected. If there's some over here available that's one thing. But you want to make sure that there's none installed over here. Because if there is it will lag like crazy. Especially if you have a bad computer. The better computer you have the more of a chance you're going to be able to use a resource pack. But for the sake of this tutorial, which, by the way, we'll be assuming that you have the worst computer in the world, we're going to try to optimize it for, like, a person with half a gigabyte of RAM, for example, to be able to play. Not that that's even possible. Minecraft needs at least a gigabyte of RAM to play. But someone with a horrible computer to be able to run this. So no texture pack selected. And then let's move on into video settings. Now, once we're in video settings, this is where the real magic happens. We want to turn graphics to fast and render distance on tiny. I know render distance on tiny is kind of undesirable. So if you get in and you have like 200 FPS, come in here and raise your render distance a little bit and then keep raising it up until you get about 30 FPS stably. Moving on, we want no smooth lighting. We want frame rate actually set to unlimited. Some people would tell you to limit your frame rate, but we actually see lag spikes and lag jumps when the frame rate's trying to go over 30 or 60 FPS. So we normally leave it unlimited. Smooth lighting off. View bobbing, personal preference. I personally like it off. The smaller your GUI scale, your GUI scale here, the better. For example, if you wanted to put it at small, right, you guys can barely see it right now, but if you put it at this level, you would be able to optimize Minecraft just a little bit. It might gain you an FPS or two, but we're going to leave it at large so you guys can, you know, see it. Over to use VBOs here, we want to turn that on. Brightness doesn't really affect FPS. Attack indicator, whatever you want, doesn't affect FPS. Fog is going to be off. Fog start doesn't matter because fog is off. Shaders, if you have shaders, turn them off. This will kill your computer like crazy, so make sure shaders are off and make sure anti-aliasing over here is also off. On to quality. In here, we want to kind of make things off or we want to make them low quality. In example, everything in here right now is turned off. You want to model this exactly. Every single thing is turned off. After that, we want to go down to the details. Here, we want everything off or on fast. As you can see, clouds off, cloud height off, trees fast, rain, snow off, sky off, stars off, 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 off. The only thing that we want to leave on 
is held item tooltip, so we can leave that one on because it has no effect on performance. Even entity shadows need to be turned off. Moving on to performance now. Smooth FPS needs to be left on. Smooth world needs to be left on. Fast render. That really is dependent on your computer. If you have a GPU, like a really good GPU in your computer, go ahead and turn it on. Or if you have a mediocre GPU. But if you don't have a standalone GPU, I would probably leave fast rendering off. For example, if you're running on a laptop, you probably want to leave fast rendering off. Fast math on. Chunk updates want to be 1 because basically what that means is it'll take a longer time for the world to load, but once it loads, FPS will be faster. Dynamic updates needs to be left on, meaning when you're standing still, it's generating, and when you're moving, it's not. That helps with FPS. Lazing chunk loading needs to be on. Click done there. On to animations. This one's easy. I don't have to walk you through anything except the all off button. Just click all off and you're good to go. And then click done. Other. Lago meter, you can leave that on or off, it's up to you. Debugger profile off, weather off, time, whatever you want. I like it to be default because I like nighttime. If you don't like nighttime, leave it at day only or night only if you always want it to be nighttime. That'd be an interesting, like, let's play, for example. Full screen, you want to take that off. Full screen mode does not matter because it's off. Show FPS, I turn that on so you guys can see the FPS in Minecraft after we've launched up the game. Autosave. Now this is a big one. Some people call like this stutter step lag or something like that and it can a lot of times be fixed by changing this. Minecraft by default saves every two seconds. One second, two seconds it saves. Boom, 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 boom. You get the idea, right? Every two seconds it saves, which can cause lag every two seconds, which pretty much means constant lag or move a few feet lag, move a few feet lag. What you can do is increase this to three minutes and then you'll lag every three minutes but it allows you to play for three minutes before a little bit of lag and then you can keep playing. Now if you're really risky you can change this up to 30 minutes but that means you can lose 30 minutes of gameplay in Minecraft. That's a big freaking deal. I think leaving it at three minutes is perfect. 3D Anaglyph you want to leave that off and advanced tool tips doesn't affect performance you can leave that on. And you've got it set up. You're good to go. Click done, done, done. And let's launch in to single player here and see what kind of FPS we're getting. 700, 1300, 1500, 1500 FPS in the top left corner, right up here, right up here in the top left corner. You can see my FPS and it looks like it's averaging about a 900 or so when I'm moving, but it can get up to 1700 when I'm not moving. When there, I'm moving and it hits 1700. So that is insanity. Super fast FPS. Only achievable with, uh, well, Optifine running in Minecraft. If you still have lag and you've went through and you've set up Optifine, the only thing that I can tell you that would probably help is, uh, one, getting a new computer. Upgrading your computer is obviously going to help. But two, closing out of everything but Minecraft. Everything. Chrome, Skype, all of it. Close out of it, quit out of it, and that might help your performance. But usually this is all people need. Hope your Minecraft is now running super fast with absolutely no lag. This has been The Breakdown. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to thebreakdown.xyz to get an awesome 24-hour Minecraft server for just $2 per month. I'm out. Peace.